Friends, in this video, we are going to learn fecal multiplication of a heart cataract. This is a totally unedited recording. You are not going to miss anything. This is the main incision with a 2.8 millimeter steel keratom. As you can see, the cataract is very hard. Nuclear sclerosis is about grade 6. This is a side port on the left side of the main incision with the keratom itself. The keratom goes midway and we get an adequate sized side port. An air bubble is injected beneath this air bubble. Tripan blue dye is applied over the anterior capsule. The dye should touch on all parts of the capsule. This is adrenaline. The pupil has not dilated. Well, it has dilated only up to 5 to 5, 6 millimeter. After injection of adrenaline, it has dilated to maybe 7 millimeter. This is adequate, but hard cataracts. In hard cataracts, if you have a nicely dilated people, it is much better. And now we're going to do capsulorexis. This is uterta forceps. The journal is little weak and to get an adequate size rexis, I have to go just near the border of the people. Then I can get a rexis of about 5.5 millimeter. Yes, so the size of the people is about 6 and we have got a rexis of 5.5 millimeter. Hydrodissection is done. We cannot see, see the fluid wave. Just have to inject small amounts of ringer lactate or BSAs at multiple points. Mobilize the nucleus and ultimately the nucleus rotates some more visco and now introducing the feco needle the capsule is there the exposed part of the tip is little more than a routine cases remove the capsule Bevel down, remove some cortex. All cortex is part of nucleus in this case. Now I am trying my technique, the submarine chop technique. The tip goes into the substance of the nucleus, goes through the nucleus with high vacuum and high power. Power is 450. Ultrasonic energy is 85 percent, flow rate 45 and I could get a nice crack. Come to the other side and I find that there is a thick plate on one side. I have got completely two parts but this part, this unequal parts, this is the larger part. I am dividing this part into three pieces. This is on piece and now I come, I try to, it is not free. Now I divide this piece again into two smaller pieces. And I am not finding any place to engage the Vico needle. So I come out, inject Visco, take two hooks, and now go with two hooks. This is the leathery band 
joining the pieces. I could separate on piece, the other two pieces are still attached at the middle with a leathery band. So I tent it up like this, inject some visco behind and now I go again with the FECO needle. My plan is to apply a burst of ultrasonic energy onto the band, leathery band joining the two fragments. Here it goes. Here I apply a bit, a burst of energy and the two pieces get separate. And now my plan is to emulsify the pieces one by one. In such cases, so hard nucleus, people is not well dilated, cannot see the behavior of the posterior capsule well, cannot hurry up. We have to give time. So in this case, I'm going to spend about 12 minutes time, uh, 11 and a half, to complete this surgery. Always at iris plane, far from the cornea, facotive most of the time at the center. If I need to pick up on piece, I go to periphery just for few seconds, bring it at the central part and emulsify at the central safe zone. Because when the facotive is at the central part, the corneal endothelium is far above and the posterior capsule is far below. At the periphery, both are near. Now this is the this is the part which we got initially, the small part. I just stand it off like this so that I can apply the energy at the thick part, go again with ultrasonic energy and place the FECO needle here and start emulsifying, eating up the mass. If the nuclear piece stands like this, one part of the piece, the part which is down, protects the stick capsule and I start eating up from above. During emulsification of the last piece, at this time, the vacuum is reduced to only 100 to 90 millimeter of mercury and flow rate is 25. There's some bits, nuclear bits, which is near the side port. Little visco here and more visco at the side port. And all these pieces come at the center. Again, I go inside with very low vacuum, 90 millimeter of mercury and 20 fluorite and very slowly emulsify the pieces. It is done. So ultimately we have conquered this hard cataract. Little amount of visco and we cannot see the cortex if it is there, it is covered by the iris. So I just sweep the simco and if it is there, it gets caught up at the aspiration, aspiration port. It's done. 
And now, an intraocular lens is to be implanted in the capsular bag. Though we prefer hydrophobic lenses, this patient cannot afford. This patient is a farmer, could afford only 75 US dollar for the whole surgery. So, implanting this good hydrophilic intraocular lens and the lens goes in the capsular bag. This is moxifloxacin. The side port is closed by hydrating corneal stroma very gently. I hydrate only minimal with minimal amount of fluid. My side port is little wider and it doesn't need much of hydration. If the side port is small and if we if the wound is stressed during introduction of instruments through this, there is fish mouthing and it takes a lot of stromal hydration to close. Final lavage, center chamber is nicely formed, wounds are checked and the case is concluded. Thank you very, very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. Wish not it were easier. Wish you were better. Don't wish for less problems. Wish for more skills. Don't wish for less challenges. Wish for more wisdom. Be a great surgeon and serve your patients with love, respect, empathy and great surgical competence.